delighted to introduce my next guest. Now, let me tell you about My Old Man. It's a production about intergenerational relationships. It's about Polish identity in the UK today. And it's a story about loneliness as well. It's going to be a unique experience for the audience because it premieres in Leeds and it's part theatre and it's part film. Well, Lorraine Bruce, who you'll know from The Syndicate and loads of other stuff, actually, uh, plays Kathy in the film. And I'm delighted to say she joins me now. Kathy, this sounds fascinating, part theatre and part film. I think we're going to have to work hard to get people to understand it, though. Is it a bit confusing as well? I'm hoping that it won't be confusing, Nick. Good, uh, good afternoon to you, by the way. It's lovely to have you with us. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I don't mean confusing in, in, like, I'm sure people will love it and everything. It's one of those things where you go, let me, let me try and get across to you what this is, and then I'm sure you'll want to come. Uh, so explain to us, what, what, is, what is this exactly? What will we experience? Okay, so My Old Man was a film that was based originally on a theatre production that um, Imagine If Theatre Company did a while ago in 2019. And what Tresca, who is the artistic director of the theatre company and theatre company, and she also wrote the pieces, wanted to do was make a short film, uh, which we have done, and then looking at the recent changes that we've all, you know, had to adapt to, she was kind of like, how can we bring this short film to people, but also bring an element of theatre to it. So that's what she intends to do um, with the film. And she's doing a short tour around England and Yorkshire. And as you said, it starts at the Brand Studios on the 13th of November. Which is really exciting. And we know Cheska, we've spoken to her previously. She, she's a brilliant young woman. She's the artistic director of, of Imagine If. And, uh, you know, this, I know that this, this play, this piece is really personal to her and it, it really matters. But it feels like it really matters to you as well, Lorraine, because it's about intergenerational relationships. And during lockdown, that's something that you experience firsthand, isn't it? Yeah, that was one of the things. When I, when I got the script through, I, I had to have a little chuckle, really, because... Um, in lockdown, like obviously a lot of people did, <clears throat> we, came, we became more aware of um, the elderly uh, people in our communities who needed help. So I lived in central London at that time and I reached out to Age UK um, because obviously if you're in a bigger town, it's sometimes a little bit more difficult to know your neighbours, particularly if they're elderly. You don't just want to go knocking on someone's door in the middle of lockdown and yeah. go in. You know what I mean? So I reached out to Age UK and a lot of people did. Uh, and so for the majority of lockdown, that's that, I, you know, I was able to work with them. Uh, initially, it was part of a team providing an emergency response to the elderly. A lot of pe people weren't obviously able to get out, get shopping. A lot of elderly people have their gas in the lackey on cards. Um, so and prescriptions and so it, it was providing practical support but also as well it was very frightening obviously for a lot of people not just the elderly so it was sometimes just saying you know get yourself a blanket get yourself a chair you sit inside your hallway I'll sit a few yards back on the on the garden path and we'll just have a bit of a chat really and just you know try to be a bit normal but one of the things that came out of that for me is that I got a new best friend mm. <laughs> um, who turned 93 at the end of September. Wow. And his name is Mr. Gritton. Yeah, mm. and he is such a character. He's so funny. He's so charming. He's so stoic. He's so wise. He's got stories like you wouldn't believe. So um, we're still very much, you know, in contact with each other and... And, you know, we're good mates. I like to think that we're good mates. No, wow. really. It's so lovely that, that I mean, it, it's, you know, we, we, we're very much about trying to find silver linings here on this show. And we talk about positive things. And, and obviously last year was really hard. But what an incredible thing to have come out of uh, that time of uh, adversity. And it feels to me, I imagine, as an actor, this has really played in to you going on stage. Well, not on stage because you're on film. Uh, but playing the part of Cathy. Cause it, it sounds quite similar to your real life. <laughs> It was just so similar. It was really, really similar. And, uh, you know, when I, when I read the film, I was like, wow, A, this is similar, you know, and I, and I do really relate to it. 
Um, but also as well, all of the stuff that um, Chesky is bringing up in this film about community and about how we all support each other. Um, and it, I just, I was like, it's so heartwarming. It's so lovely. I was filming something else at the time for the BBC in Cheshire. Um, but I had a chat with Cheska on the phone and like you said, you've spoken to her. So you know what a force of nature she is, how inspiring she is, how positive she is, um, and how creative and practical she is as a person. And I got off the phone and I went on to Imagine If's website because she was also talking about some of the work that she does, um, you know, supporting prisoners and getting people rehabilitated back into the community. And honestly, I mean, I was going to say to your audience, if you've got a minute and you really, you know, you're bored with reading all the negative stuff and hearing it on the news, get onto their website, imagineftheatre.co.uk and have a read about what they're doing because it just proves so clearly that when we come together, we can solve all the problems that we've got. She is doing something constructive to help people in their day-to-day lives and she's doing it in a really brilliant way so anyway i got off the phone and i just said to my agent listen i think she's amazing this woman i want to work with her can you please make this happen so we did that's so cool oh this is the perfect story for us to be telling on this show i love the fact that we've got some, something so positive to talk about so uh, we're talking to the wonderful lorraine bruce she plays the character of kathy uh, a neighbor to michael an old polish man in uh, what sounds like an amazing production called my old man it's part theater part film it has its premiere in leeds on the 13th and 14th of november then it's going off on a uk tour um now you you know a bit about leeds don't you because we've seen you popping up in a little show called The Syndicate. You you know this place quite well. Tell us about being involved in something like that, Lorraine. Leeds has always been a really, really, really positive place for me to come to. Like, I first came to Leeds um, because I was doing a production called Scuffer, written by Mark Catley. You were in Scuffer? Scuffer's one of my favourite plays of all time. Oh, my gosh. (laughs) (laughs) I'd forgotten about that, Lorraine. So that was a while ago, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, I think it was 2005. Wow. Oh, gosh, it so was cool. actually Mark Catley who, yeah, It was actually Mark Catley who wrote that, who suggested to Cheska that she get in touch with me about my old man. Um, so that was the first time that I came to Leeds doing that production, which was absolutely brilliant. And, you know, I just settled straight in into Leeds. I'm originally from Cheshire, but... Uh, nobody seems to hold that against me. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take all sorts around here. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> I know. And, uh, so, and, and yeah, like you said, I, you know, I've had the opportunity to come back and do the syndicate now, full series of that um, for uh, Kate Meller and Ro- um, Roland Productions. And I mean, you know, that character is one of my favourite characters that I've ever played in my entire career. It's very close to my heart. So whenever I get a call from Kay and she says, we're doing the syndicate again, will you come back and do it? I'm like, yeah, man. I get to come and be at Leeds. I get to do the character. I get to do Kay Mellor's work, which again, you know, another amazing, wonderful Yorkshire woman. It's like, I'm like, yeah, come on, let's do this. So it's a, it's a, a real treat for me anyway when I get to... Um, I've got to know the city very well, and um, I've all, I always have a very, very nice time when I'm there. Well, like you say, we've got some amazing uh, Yorkshire women over here doing brilliant things. Cheska is definitely one of them, and I, I'm not—I don't really have the power to do so. I kind of feel like I want to give you the title of honorary Yorkshire woman, uh, but you know, it's okay, you, three. <laughs> uh, Lorraine, I will it's, take that. <laughs> it's so lovely to have you with us. The production sounds amazing. It's called My Old Man. Uh, we can find it in Leeds on the 13th and 14th of November, and as you say. If we go and look up Imagine If Theatres, it will it, it will enhance your life if you manage to do that. Uh, Lorraine, thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you here in Leeds in a bit. Thank you. The wonderful Lorraine Bruce there. Uh, and do check it out. Imagine If Theatre is, uh, is is a really special thing. We're, we're really lucky that it exists. And, uh, and Cheska, the artistic director, is, as Lorraine says, a force of nature. The production is called My Old Man. You with Nick? It's BBC Radio Leeds. Nick Ahad.